What determines if an isotope is radioactive? It actually just depends on what's in its nucleus. So let's look at carbon-12 versus 14. Carbon-12 is my stable isotope of carbon. Carbon-14 is my radioactive isotope, or also known as radioisotope. And again, it depends on what's in the nucleus. So a stable nucleus for a small atom has a neutron to proton ratio of one to one, and that's what I see for carbon-12. There's six neutrons and six protons. Radioactive isotopes have a neutron to proton ratio that's off balance. So in this case, there's more neutrons in carbon-14, and if we do the math, it's 1.33 to one. So this is too heavy, there's too many neutrons. That will make it unstable and want to decay. So the nuclear decay process that carbon-14 undergoes is called beta decay. Um, so we can talk about that in another video. But ultimately, what makes an isotope radioactive? It has to do with its nucleus. And small atoms are striving for a one-to-one -one ratio of neutrons to protons. Bigger atoms are striving for a 1.5 to one ratio of neutrons to protons. And if the nucleus is unstable, it can undergo alpha decay, beta decay, or gamma decay. And we can talk about that another time if you're interested. Please let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.